Hello friends and welcome back into NBA Weekly here as free agency continues to move along. I am Tom Downey on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney. That is Harris Rubenstein on Twitter at SportsScene. Harris, you've kind of slowed down a little bit with the actual signings. Very few yep. still going on. And as you mentioned earlier in the pro or off air, the RFA market is pretty bad. Yeah, the restrictive free agent market is just a complete disaster right yeah. now. I feel really, really bad for Jabari Parker and Zach Levine and Marcus Smart. This sucks. Right, let's guys. go ahead and dive in now to some latest rumors here. We'll start around LeBron James. Namely, was locked into the Lakers since January? That's not surprising. Well, January, I mean, the ringer has been reporting that LeBron was locked into the Lakers since the end of last season, which, again, doesn't surprise me at all. LeBron has always wanted to join the Lakers. And I want to make, I want to make a little prediction here. Not really a prediction, just kind of a, a gut feeling with LeBron right now. I don't know if we're going to see the same title-winning, obsessed LeBron James with the Lakers as we did with the Cavs. I think this offseason has shown that he just kind of wants to take a little bit of a step back from the stresses of constantly having to win a title. And I think that's why he went to the Lakers. I think he realized that the you know he does have to at least make a run for a title, but at least in year one, it's not completely necessary. It's better off for him to just kind of take it slow, be a part of the Lakers, and allow the culture around that to grow first rather than winning a title right away. And I think he's very happy with that fact, mind you. He seems very relaxed about everything going on. All right, folks. While we kind of discuss LeBron in general, let us know in the comment section who you think is the GOAT. Me. Give us a one for MJ. Absolutely not. <laughs> a one for MJ and a two for LeBron. No one thinks you're the GOAT. I, you know, I've had a couple of people tweet me over the past couple of days that I'm the GOAT. So take that, Tom. I don't Downey. believe you. I will, those I'll are, pull those are your burner and accounts. One of them, and one of them was from a LeBron James GOAT account saying that I was the GOAT. See, so, you know. Harris's burner account. All right, <laughs> next up, and this one frankly confuses me because we'll come back to it a couple times throughout the show. Kawhi doesn't want to play with LeBron James. So there was, this was the report. Uh, Shams had made note of this. Stephen A. Smith has made note of this as well. The entire Kawhi situation, I'm about to put this in the comments section below, the entire Kawhi situation has come out to the big smiling shrug face. And I'm going to put this in the comments section. That is what is the entire Kawhi situation. On YouTube, been. by the way. Just on, on YouTube and comments. Just the smiling shrug emoji. Who knows what's going on with Kawhi right now? It is very obvious that he has just been in complete flux with the information he is putting out, the information coming in. He has no clue what he wants right now. And I think it's because he's getting information from three or four different people over what he should do. He has no clue what's going on right now. The fact that, you know, it, it started off with LeBron James or that Kawhi wouldn't go to Lakers until LeBron got there. Then it was Kawhi's going to wait until LeBron got there. Then it was Kawhi wants to go to Lakers because LeBron was there. Now it's Kawhi doesn't want to go to Lakers because LeBron is there. What the hell is going on? What it was, like make a decision? This is so annoying. Like no one knows. This will be a potential lineup if the Spurs get what they want for Kawhi Leonard. We'll come back to some mm -hmm. other options later on in the show about well, maybe there are some more realistic options out there. But folks, let us know in the comments section where you think Kawhi will play this season. <sighs> Maybe he just waits it out one more year with the Spurs, Harris. Shrug. Maybe. That's all, like, that, that is all that this entire situation has given us is a big, smiling shrug emoji. And maybe that shrug emoji is also flipping us off just to make us angrier. <laughs> That's what we get. All right, folks. Well, I'm Tom Downing, but that is Harris Rubenstein. We're trying to get him to 1,500 Twitter Do followers. It. You're pretty close, Harris. I'm so close. You're at 1,370. We're right there. We're right there. We, we, the, the YouTube people around here, the fans of Chat Sports YouTube, have strengthened my Twitter game so much more. Guys are Let's awesome. Get me to 1,500. We're so close. We're 130 away. And when we do, mind you, I'm going to do a mailbag when we get to 1,500 and answer every single question that I get on Twitter after we hit 1,500. Mailbags so, are fun. Mailbags are fun. If you want to get your question answered live on air, get me to 1,500 followers, and we will do a big mailbag. It'll this next LeBron rumor is also very intriguing to me that LeBron hasn't had contact with Luke Walton, L.A. head coach. Which is, Which is it's weird, right? It, it is a little bit weird, seeing as you know who's been behind Luke Walton the entire time. Because look, Magic Johnson and Rob Palenka did not hire Luke Walton. Mm -hmm. Luke Walton's biggest fan right now is Genie Bus. Mm -hmm. Genie Bus will not let anybody touch him at all. No touching uh, Luke Walton. He is my guy. He is the Lakers look, guy. Look, but don't touch. Exactly, but it's just 
it's weird that LeBron and Luke Walton haven't talked. I mean, Magic Johnson and LeBron James had a, a private secret meeting in LeBron's mansion, and he hasn't even spoken to Luke Walton on the phone? It, it's just so strange. This reminds me exactly of the David Blatt situation, except I'm going to kind of take a step back because I want to be consistent with, you know, with my LeBron coverage. I don't think LeBron is going to get in the way of a head coach this time. Like I, I said before, I, I think LeBron is taking a more relaxed approach towards this Lakers offseason. I don't think he is like as title hungry and title crazy as he was with the Cavs. I think he's taking a little bit of a step back here and is going to allow this team to grow naturally, and that includes with a young coach in Luke Walton. So again, here is the Lakers' current line. They do have some cap space left that they want to go sign. Another center, maybe they want to bring back a Lopez, mm -hmm. for example. But we'll stick with the head coaching discussion here, and this one, of course, it happened, Harris. Stephen A. Smith says the Lakers should hire Phil Jackson. No, they shouldn't. Back. Thank you. I'm no, glad you agree shouldn't. with me. Oh, my God, no. The man no. is 72 years old. And also, not to mention, uh, Jeannie Buss and Phil Jackson. Remember how they were dating? I believe, were they married there for a little while? Uh, de facto Whether marriage. or not they were. Uh, they broke engaged. up. Uh, they, they were engaged. Yeah, they are no longer together. So that would be incredibly awkward to bring back Phil Jackson after he broke you know, him and Jeannie Buss have broken up and also do coach the Lakers at the age of 72. I'm not even sure that Phil Jackson can walk anymore. That dude, remember we talked about back injuries in sports? Yeah, yeah he's got a bad back. That also matters with coaching because Phil Jackson had to get multiple back surgeries just so he could stand on the sidelines. He pretty much had the Steve Kerr thing. Exactly. No more Phil Jackson in the NBA. All right, he gave us Chris Stapps Porzingis on the Knicks, and that is the last great gift that he gave the NBA. <laughs> Move didn't on. Didn't do a whole lot else right and with no, the Knicks exactly. organization. Move on. That, that, that is it. We do not need him in the NBA Phil anymore. Jackson to, to the Lakers is like those Cowboys fans, and you guys know who you are, who think that the Cowboys should hire back Jimmy Johnson. Oh, God. Because, oh, oh. let's just go back to the golden era. Oh, no. That's yeah, ugly. Just Please don't do doesn't that. doesn't work. No thanks. All right, LeBron and the Lakers jerseys. Well, no surprise here, Harris. They are flying off the shelves. Or oh, I guess of the internet shelves, so off of the internet storage space. Th this will end up being one of the most popular jerseys ever sold in the history yeah. of basketball by, by a significant margin. I mean, it's just LeBron James's jersey sales are going to pay for his contract. I, I wouldn't be – like, again, he's going to have the highest-selling jersey in the NBA. I know he got passed up by Steph Curry on the Warriors, but that's because, I mean – you know, you spend four years on the Cavs and you're LeBron James. Everyone has a LeBron James yeah. Cavs jersey. Everyone is going to want a LeBron James Lakers jersey. He is going now to the key, blow everyone away. The key is in like four or five years when LeBron re-signs with L.A. Yes. He abandons the 23 and he goes to the 6 and all no, new jersey gonna, sales come he's in. He's going to go to 45 just to be a troll. I'm telling you, he's <laughs> going to go to 45 just to troll Michael Jordan. <laughs> all right, folks, let us know in the comments section who you think the GOAT is. A one for MJ, a two for LeBron. Two ahead, Hussein, who asked, is he rocking 23? Yes, LeBron yes, is. James is rocking 23 with the Lakers. All right, folks, we'll be right back. But first, a very quick message. Thanks for watching, you guys. But I still can't believe some of you have not subscribed to the Chat Sports YouTube channel. What are you waiting for? It's so easy. The guys are going to give you 10 seconds to do so. So right below your screen, click that subscribe button, and the guys will be right back with all the latest NBA news and rumors you do not want to miss and I'll see you later in the show.